On Martin Luther King Jr. Day 2011, our team's green screen students met at the Richmond Police Activities League building, the Art Pal, bright and early. We borrowed the Pal bicycles and helmets and set out for the Richmond Greenway. We have been documenting MLK Day on the Greenway for three years already, but this year was different. Instead of riding bikes from the Pal on 23rd and McDonald Avenue straight to the South 6th Street and Ohio site where the original work on the Greenway began, this time we headed over to the Cutting Boulevard and Carson Avenue area. The area we plan to work on with Groundwork Richmond and other volunteers is just like big empty lots under the BART overpass. We hung our Earth Team banners and then our new Groundwork banner to show that Groundwork Richmond has begun. Today's MLK Day celebration is the inaugural event for Groundwork and a show of partnership between Groundwork, the Friends of the Richmond Greenway, the City of Richmond, and many local nonprofits. Earth Team brought the green screen students to document the work, the PAL students to adopt their own space on the Greenway, and the Richmond High School Aqua Team to work on several projects along the Three Mile Rail to Trails project, what we now call the Richmond Greenway and think of as the backyard for the city of Richmond. My name is Don Davis and uh, this is my wife Lorraine Davis. Hi. We live in Richmond and uh, it's I... It's close by our home. It's close by our home. And I figured, you know, for Richmond to be the city of pride and purpose, uh, it's got to be about solutions to the problems. And one of the major problems is trash, dirt, filth, and the uh, blight of our neighborhoods. And I figured, you know, I, I complain about this uh, time and time again, and I figured it was now, it was time to do something about it. Because if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Once we were established at Carson and Cutting, Earth Team's restoration director, Kevin Sherrill, outlined the plan for the day. He told us that we would be spending our morning identifying and flagging the native plants. They're removing the non-native plants and cleaning up the area. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Kevin. <laughs> Bad name tag. Uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, thanks for making this a day on, not a day off. Um, it is a national day of service, so thank you everyone for coming out. So we're working on a special project uh, this morning. We're working on part of the Richmond Greenway, and it's part of a larger effort to restore the entire greenway that once was uh, railroad tracks. And um, it's, degrade, it's a degraded landscape, and you know it's kind of fallen into disrepair. And we're going to work together to help restore the greenway so that people can enjoy it on hikes and bikes, and there could be native vegetation growing and plants that you can you know pick fruit from. Our city attorney, councilman, and others came by to celebrate the work and how far down the Greenway we have started working. So Will, what does your organization have in store for the future with this land? Well, hopefully a lot for the city of Richmond because there's a lot to do in the city of Richmond. What we want to do is to be able to help extend the city's mission, extend what the city does by fixing up places like the Richmond Greenway, other places that are abandoned industrial sites, and bring some beauty and bring some recreation and bring something that's soothing to the soul and places where people can uh, walk around trees and see pretty things and perhaps raise uh, some things to eat and just have a really nice experience in the Greenway is a nice big canvas for us all to work on. As your new city council person, uh, I want to give credit where credit's due because my business is right next door here. And I've seen this as a eyesore for an awful, awful long time. This got started with Louie Mae Jones and the cycle program. She was actually the first person to deal with this. Then Councilman Butt called me many, many years ago and we went down to the Marina Way and he stood on the overpass and he says, I envision this being a better, better place. You know, and we want something that's safe, family oriented. And then I'm also looking at maybe sticking a couple soccer fields in between this along with the planting. So uh, at that point, I think I need to turn it over to Randy Riddle, our city attorney. I have uh, nothing to add other than uh, I'm a user of the Greenway and all the improvements uh, that are made here over the years uh, I really appreciate as I'm riding my bike along here from work. And, uh, I've been working on the Greenway in one way or another for about 15 years now. And uh, every year it, it, gets, it gets better. Uh, this year really is important because this segment we're on was, um, was finished just within the past year and, and opened up. And it goes all the way from here to San Pablo Avenue. And so it's open 
and uh, now we got to make it beautiful, which is what we're doing today. Um, my name is Fari Henson. Today we are cleaning up the greenway, picking out the weeds, keeping the native plants to have beautiful things grow here and edible things and, you know, just make their more beautiful. I'm um, from the city of Richmond, pretty much born and raised here. And I think this is a pretty awesome place and I'm really, really happy to see people out here actually like helping contribute to make this actually a beautiful city. From the Groundwork Earth Team site at Cutting in Ohio, we rode our bikes and rode up the Greenway towards the 16th Street area where work was just beginning on the edible forest. The Edible Forest is a site planted to be a destination on the Greenway, where anyone out enjoying the Greenway can also stop for a fresh piece of fruit from the trees that are just now being planted. Because this area is known as a brownsfield, where chemicals have raised concerns about the soil, there is a lot of preparation of the soil before the trees go into the ground. One day, this area will produce abundant free fruit for local residents at the Edible Forest on the Greenway. Sherman works for Urban Tilt and manages a small crew that regularly works on the Greenway and the Edible Forest, funded by a grant from the National Park System. Everything that is planted at the site is native to the area, which helps sustain the natural ecosystem, including the local pollinators. Butterfly Garden is actually key, especially to this, uh, this project. The Butterfly Garden is where we plant the flowers, wildflowers, uh, honeysuckle, different things that attract pollinators. So hummingbirds, butterflies, bees, um, other birds because they come over here and they feed on all the things that we grow in the butterfly garden. And then they therefore come over to the edible forest and they pollinate all the flowers growing on the trees. So we get the fruit and the vegetables and everything like that over here. So that's why it's an important part of the installation. The butterfly gardens are outlined with the logs that were delivered by the National Park Service the morning of the MLK Day celebration. Everyone on 16th Street got plenty of fresh air and exercise and had a great time doing the work. Volunteers from the Boy Scouts of America were also there to help out on the Greenway. We've been coming down to the Martin Luther King thing for as long as we've been doing projects here. But I'm hoping to get the Scouts to actually adopt a block along the greenway here now that we've got access to both ends and see if we can actually uh, create a forest and that kind of thing. All along the greenway our crew met with local residents who came out to cheer on the work crews and do their own part, cleaning, planting and celebrating their community. All right, guys, so today I'm here with, with some local residents. So tell me, guys, so what, what makes you want to join this particular event? Well, we do this kind of thing anyway, so to hear that more people are out doing it just makes us, you know, want to come out and support it even more. We just live down the block, so it's nice to see it cleaned up. It's just nice to do a little something for the community, you know, where you live in, no matter where that is. We wound up in Richmond and discovered we really like it. Things like mm -hmm. green screen TV and what's going on on the Greenway and the Rise Center and whatnot. My husband Slim's an artist and um, we'd like to do some art along the trail too at some point, but we need to get to know some more people here and find out how to make that happen. Ever since we moved here, I've had a dream that being the bike trail and there's, along there you have the waterfront and all the stuff, but out here it's building, so with art and stuff, you could almost turn it into a Route 66 for bicycles where everybody can stop and pick fruit and look at art. And the more the merrier, I say. You know, to see more art and planting and the edible forest, that, I've already been coming out here and picking little bits of herbs and different things, spices and seasonings to cook with, but um, I can't wait for spring to see all the rest that comes out here. It's really exciting. We left the Edible Garden on 16th Street and headed to the main celebration event down the Greenway at 6th Street and Ohio Avenue. Along the way were booths for all the organizations that participate in many of the projects on the Greenway. We were hungry for the lunch that was waiting for us under the canopies. 
There was music, dancing, speakers, and entertainment all morning. People were planning for the art murals, children were penning the goat and chickens, and trying out the Watershed Project's Watershed Diorama. My name is Andy Labar, and I'm the Education Coordinator for the Watershed Project. We're running the Watershed Model here. Um, today we've had a, quite a few um, adults and children come through, which is great. And I have a, a solar panel um, running the water through the Watershed Model, so it, it's, it runs through um, a pipe um, that then the tube you know, comes to the Watershed Model. Um, simulates a creek, simulates different, different areas of water, and then it drains through a bucket and it, it is then recycled um, through. So we're just using one, one bucket of water for the whole day. Summer Earth Teens Richmond High School students were working at the booth and also on the bioswell. My name is Rhonda Harris and I am a resident of Richmond for 35 years. This is Lilla Mae Jones who is the founder of Cycle, who is a community advocate, community founder of many, many programs, and a all-around community person who is responsible for the Richmond Greenway. And I, what I think about the Richmond Greenway is that from the time when I started, as a, a, it was a thought, I believe, from Lily May. I was asked to be a part of it as the president of the neighborhood council. And I thought, what a splendid idea. As a person who rides their bike, I thought this would be a good opportunity for not only adults, but many, many children from the various schools, Lincoln, Nystrom, to ride their bikes and then enjoy nature, greenery, plants, just making sure that the environment, they were afforded the environment uh, uh, an opportunity to see what the environment can do for them because many of them have not experienced it. It's, it's just so wonderful to be out here today on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, we have more than 300 people out here today, which is enormous, enormous and a wonderful showing of community support for service and um, in remembrance of uh, Martin Luther King. Dr. King is someone who lives on with all of us today who work for community and in fact, we start, we start being leaders today, become better leaders every day goes by, and pretty soon, before you know it, man, it's going to it get a lot better than this, and it's going to keep getting better, and that's all we want, a better tomorrow, a better future, and just keep soldiering on, it's going to work well, very well. Absolutely, thank you. That's, that's exactly, those words speak it so, so clearly, you know, everybody here showing that they're a leader and you know leadership leads to that better tomorrow and that transitional phase that we're in to create a sustainable planet we're all here today showing that we care and that we're doing our part so thank you all again my name is will osuna i'm the executive director of groundwork richmond i'm out here today with a lot of citizens and groups that brought together folks today to work on the richmond greenway as part of the Martin Luther King National Day of Service where people do a day on as opposed to a day off. A lot of great folks showed up today to do things and we're very pleased and proud as a brand new organization to have our first inaugural event to have such a great success. A lot of groups worked in this area. We worked at uh, Carlson and the uh, Richmond Greenway and we had a good showing of folks. We were able to pull some invases, pull out a lot of trash, do a little planting and get people uh, knowing each other and talking about what the Greenway can look like in the future. And I just think that this is the amount of people here that are talking and having a good time is just really testimony to how much people care about the city of Richmond and how much people care about making this a better place to live.